A giant anemone lives inside this ecosystem. It protects two clownfish, Big Mama and Emo Nemo. But while I wasn't looking, this anemone had a baby. Actually, it had a bunch of babies. Anemones can clone themselves by splitting in half, or sometimes in thirds, which means I got lucky with triplets. When a baby anemone is born, it's given a foot. And you can see this foot if you look closely at the bright pink colored section at the bottom of the anemone. That is the foot. And the anemone can use it at will to move around the tank. Eventually, it'll stop moving when it finds a place that it likes. But today, I need to detach the foot from the rock so that I can move the baby anemone to another one of my aquariums. Once I finally got the baby to detach, I moved him into this cup. Inside this cup, the anemone is going to heal and attach to a new smaller piece of rock that will make him easier to move. After a couple days of letting this new baby heal, it was finally time to move him into his new home in this empty tank. I have another pair of all white clownfish in this tank that can now enjoy a new symbiotic relationship with this anemone. Hopefully one day, this baby anemone can grow up and also start to produce more babies.